So now you probably have a general sense of what logic gates exist in our little digital world. For example, AND gates, OR gates, NAND gates. We're going to talk about a particular type of NAND gate called the open drain NAND gate, which will simply look like this, your normal NAND gate with the one output, two inputs. And I just put down an OD just to make it show that people will know what that is. And a normal NAND gate would normally look like this with no lettering in it. So um, I'm going to basically describe to you what is so different about these two. So let's go into the uh, MOSFET diagram in here. So we will have our... Oops, that's wrong, sorry. And then we have our function line. And both these would go to power, VCC, or um, 5 volts, whatever you like to call it. That goes here. And down here is a daisy chain connection to the um, ground. This is what a normal, oh, this is the output. And these are our inputs, A, B, A, B, I suppose. So this is what a normal NAND gate looks like. as opposed to an open drain where it will only contain the N channels and no P channels. This is A B once again. <coughs> this will come to the uh, output line. Now, you may, you may notice that, oh, there's no power going to the output now. Well, that's why we'll have to figure out some way to hook up power to this gate. So now adding on to this, from over here, we'll have to add an external voltage source. So we have our VCC slash 5 volts going to here and then going through a small resistor of some given value and then will be our output. So I'll basically describe how the output is affected by the inputs of the open drain. So let's draw a truth table So our predicted results from a typical NAND gate is 1110. So now let's confirm this. So, with the aid of the um, channel diagram, when A and B are 0, 0, 0, which means it will block off the connection to here, it will, this, the connection to ground is not open, and therefore power will just go through to the output, no problem. And the same behavior applies to both of these cases. So now let's let's see what happens when A and B are both 1. So when A and B are both 1, the connection to ground to the output has been made. And therefore, instead of the output being 5 volts, it will be straight to ground because the 5 volts would just be drained on the ground. And that is basically how the open drain NAND gate works.